Hey guys, it's Rocky Boy here. Man, it's a great time to be alive as a comic book fan. There's a lot of great movies coming out that came out in 2016. From Batman vs. Superman uh, Dawn Justice to Captain uh, America Civil War, Deadpool, uh, Doctor uh, Strange, X Men uh, Apocalypse. It's been a fantastic year. Hell, 2017 is looking to be even better with movies like Justice League and Spider Man Homecoming. Even some great superhero video games as well coming out next year as well. With video games like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite being announced to Injustice 2. But here today, I'm here to give you the video game review of Injustice Gods Among Us, the Ultimate Edition, the PS4 version from NetherRealm Studios to awesome people that brought you Mortal Kombat. I hope you enjoy. Woo! Hey guys, Rocket Lay here. Once again, what's up, everybody? Yep, I'm here to do. The uh, video game review of Injustice, Gods of Manga's Ultimate Edition. So, how is it? Obviously, it's fantastic. It's made by the same incredible people that did the uh, Mortal Kombat game. Uh, Mortal Kombat, you know, 9 and uh, X. And um, they, I mean, it's such a fantastic uh, DC fighting game. You know, Marvel's been ahead of the curve with, you know, Marvel's Capcom. And now finally people get, now DC fans can finally say, well, we have a good fighter, you know, thanks to the people at NetherRealm Studios with uh, Injustice Gods Among Us. It's a fantastic game. Um, it's it's so cool to see all your favorite DC characters just battle it out, you know, Superman versus, you know, Zod, you know, Batman versus Joker, you know, Wonder Woman versus Doomsday. All, you know, all those dream fights you want, it's here and then some. And it's so awesome, you know. Even the Ultimate Edition, the graphics are definitely upscaled for the 360 and uh, PS3 counterparts. Um, it's it's it looks better, it, you know, uh, on the on the PS4 for sure. And also, it plays fantastic. I mean, it plays like a, um, you know, it, it you know has you know the graphics of you know 3D graphics, but it plays like a you know to a 2D playing like Street Fighter and stuff. And, it, and it's wonderfully well done. The com you execute incredible combos and. You know, and, and, you know, incredible combos and then super moves and gadgets. It's it's so cool how to mix all the DC stuff together. You know, it, it, into the fighting mechanic. You know, it's you know, you know, throwing heat beams at people or throwing the batarang or you you want a woman's lasso or her sword and shield for, for for combos and moves to chain get you know to chain combos together. And it's easy to pick up too. Um, it's easy to learn. But a uh, hard to master kind of thing. I, I, thought, I put it online with like around tech and stuff. It's easy to pick up, but it's kind of hard to master. But it's good. But it's good for like people that want like a good challenge, you know, mastering the characters. But there are, there are some characters that are easy to pick up like uh, than others. You know, like like you know, like for example, like Superman, and Batman are, are pretty easy to pick up. Like other like others like um, Green Lantern and uh, what's another one? I think Deathstroke. I'm a little bit of the complicated side, but once you take your time to study the characters and. and Go to training mode and really learn their carry. Really learn their moves. Um, they're totally worth it. Now, all of them, all of them fight great. All they have their strengths and weaknesses, but it's not like a bad character. Everything is balanced so good. Um, has an incredible roster. As you can see from the gameplay here, the the, the fighting, the, the fight looks fantastic. Um, it's it's a lot of fun. It's in your face. Also, this thing, cool thing like uh, called uh, um, transitions. So what you do is you like uh, press back in X or back in uh, or B, I believe back in A on the Xbox, you, you, and, you, and you and you torque your fist back or whatever or their f or leg depending on which character, and they'll punch them, and you can send them flying into a whole different area of it's, it's a whole different area of the fight. It's so cool. I see them flying and it just break into the different things and just bam and then you know, and another and then at another section of the area. But for people like hey man, I don't want I don't want my friend to. I don't, have to, I don't have to worry about that and and constantly get smacked away, you know, it being me being at the wrong, at my back to the wrong area. Don't worry, you can turn those off, so don't worry about that. But it's so cool to see, like, you, you know, you could do it, you, you could do it almost anywhere. Sadly, you know, only, only certain stage, certain some stages that can't do it. Not every stage can, but you know, hell, you know, like I said, if you if you worry about that, don't worry. Um, you can you, know, you can turn it off. Another cool thing. About the game is like if you see the health bar is too like you get it's kind of like a killer it, it, they kind of borrow something from Killer Instinct so you have like two health bars there's a, a gray hair the gray health bar and a red health health bar once that gray uh, health bar uh, is gone it won't like for example if you had like a special one is a little bit left it won't go to the next it won't it won't go to the next health bar 
it'll just like dra it'll just automatically be just a drain, but it'll still have that red bar left. So it's not like it'll you know the red bar, gray bar will disappear and affect the red one. No, it's only it only stops at the gray. So it's kind of you got like plant. So it makes you so you kind of like strategize and plan your moves when to like hit that special or hit that or to hit that you know like or the you know the background or the tra or scene transition to to when when to use it and when not to use it kind of thing. So yeah, it, it plays great. You know, it, it's really well done. Got another kudos to Nether Realms. They they, they did a, they have another uh, you know fighting franchise under the belt. That's you know that that's that's uh, you know that's great. You know, first you know Mortal Kombat, now Injustice. I mean, so they got two great fighting franchises under the belt, and it did so well. We're getting a sequel, which I cannot wait for. Oh man, Injustice 2. I am so hyped for that. Also, you know, they also got some competition next year though with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So. 2017 in terms of fighting games, also Tekken 7. So 2017 in terms of fighting games, that'll be very, very, very interesting. That'll be that's gonna be a hard pick for fighting game, that's for sure. Very, very hard. Oof, that's gonna be razor, razor, razor thin close of who's gonna win fighting game of the year for 20 for uh, 2017. But um, hey man, it's good. You know, competition brings the best out of everyone. So hopefully, uh, you know, they balance out those characters, balance out those moves, and. May the best uh, fighting game win, in my opinion. But yeah, man, you know, all, but uh, get into the characters. All your favorites are here, of course. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash, uh, Martian Manhunter, uh, even like uh, Batgirl, uh, Shazam, or AKA Captain Marvel, for those of you, you know, want to say his real name. Also, you know, the classic villains like Joker, Doomsday, General Zod, Solomon Grundy. Um, Lex Luthor, they're all here and they have the unique traits with each of these characters and it's so well acted and, and well the, the mannerisms and how they portray themselves the characters on the screen is really fantastic, you can tell that this was done with a lot of love and passion and if that's if you're a hardcore DC fan you'll like you'll just love the, the, the game, even if you're as a, as a casual I think you can appreciate the love and effort from the costumes they wear to you know the acting, it's just like so well represented. So kudos to the you know the little details like that. I, I really like that. Also with certain characters, like for example, you know with Batman and Joker, they'll taunt to they'll like taunt each other. Like here's a point of the thing called the Clash Mode, where like um like it's kind of like a rock paper scissors scissors system. Like one or two things will happen. Either if you win, um if you're like uh, you're like on the you know on the lead with your health, and your person has less health, they'll take they'll um. You'll do more damage, or if a person's behind on health and they win the, the, the rock paper scissors battle, they'll get more health back. Or if they hit the same the same um because they like three different bars and they they hit the same one, it'll just say clash tie. So um those, those, those but those rarely happen though. But those are kind of like a desperate last minute struggle kind of moves. So those rarely happen, but it's cool to see though. Um also uh, the cool thing about this game the specials. Oh my god, the specials are so cool. From Batman tasing people, getting them in need of someone in the back car, running over, to Superman popping people up in the air in the atmosphere and smacking them down. The Wonder Woman has summoning her her people to to jump you and just give her give you a massive shield uppercut. It is so awesome. Yeah, some specials are better than others, others obviously, but um, but some of some of them are really really cool and over the top, and I just love it. And even, especially with the sequel, they they let it have gone to the next level. So I can't wait to see what they offer to the table on that one. But also the cool thing about this game, you also get like cool like collectibles, like the archive. You can like customize like your thumbnail, what people see online when you fight people. Also, you get to, uh, there's an archive system, like you get like you know like special like looking comic covers. You get a lot of costumes or you know for the characters or the characters themselves. Um, you know art, you know art book, you know like you know like background of like the, you know, the areas they fight in. You know, or you know, like you know, character designs, like you know, making drawing, you know, the drawings of each different characters, you know, the concepts of that stuff. It's 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 so beautiful and well done, and seeing all the different concept arts. And that's what I love looking at with um, out of all the concept arts, I always looking at, I always love looking at Nether Realms concept arts because it's so beautifully well done. You can tell that you can you can see the passion each like, um, in each of these uh, illustrations because they, they put their heart and soul into everything they do. That's what I like about um. Uh, Netherlands series, they make games that people want to they they they'll want to play themselves. So you see, you know that you know you see you see the passion with the fighting mechanics to the art style to just the music, the background, everything. It's so just well put together, and I'm so pleased that 
they got the the chance to do uh, fighting game with DC characters. Um, another cool, uh, but that's another thing I gotta mention is um, the online. I haven't played online sadly, but if you want, but based on what I heard from a person named Maximilian Dude, shout out to his channel by the way, amazing uh, YouTube channel for terms of like game, so in terms of like fighting game news and stuff, or just tips and tricks. In, in general, he's a person to check out. And basically, you mentioned, which I didn't play online, but basically, you mentioned that it's kind of like it's 50 50. Sometimes it's really, really good, but sometimes it's really, really bad. So it's kind of like 50 50. But thanks to Killer Instinct, um, th uh, showing, you know, it sh the recent new Killer Instinct game, it showed that, you know, a, a fighting game with online, you know, with good online netcode can happen. And I think, uh, I heard that, uh, uh, WB. Another one has upgraded to the new netcode that Killer Instinct is using, so now it won't be like there won't be no delays or staggering or anything like that, or button delays or those weird delays and stuff, um, and, and whatnot. So you know, it, it just, so the online will be more smooth to the point to where like you you it feels like you're playing locally versus like like you're playing like your person next to you. Like that's how good uh, the online has been. But like, or, or trying to make it be because Killer Instinct really set the center that it's possible. So now all they're fighting is to try to reach that. So it's good, you know. So that's the thing. Competition breeds, you know, want to, you know, to do things better and stuff. So that's another cool thing I, I uh, that I that I appreciate. Um, also, let's get into the story. Actually, we're right, yeah, um, you know, of course, the DC has an DC um, DC has an incredible lore, and um, and it because that's why I want a damn good story mode. Unlike Marvel vs. Capcom 3 story mode, it's kind of like just there. At least you could say, at least with uh, Injustice, there's a story. And a damn good one at that. It took, it's so much so that they, they may have, they have a comic series you could buy, like, or, or right, right now, the Injustice comics. Um, I'm kind of spoiling a little bit of a part here, but at this point, I think everyone knows at this point what's what's the basic premise about. So here it is. In an alternate Earth, or Earth 2 if you want to get technical, um, the Joker tricked Superman into killing uh, his wife Lois. And unfortunately, what made it worse, Lois was pregnant. And then, and then Lois, I guess, heart was uh, connected to like a a, a nuclear bomb because it just, just just totally just destroyed Metropolis. Oh my! It is like just wrecked and it's gone. Like, and you can see the people like with their mouths totally just dropped, like in shock. It's like you know, like they can't believe what this what is. People just like in shock and all they know how to react. And of course, you hear Joker's laughing laughing in the background, like what do you cop? Like when you, when you come, like the greatest thing ever. Of course, you see Batman interrogating, like, what have you done and stuff? And you see Superman come in, and, and you know, he's like, and Joker just not giving a fuck. I mean, Superman's pissed, and rightfully so. And then, you know, Joker's just, even with everything, and Joker's just taunting him and taunting him and taunting him. Until finally, just Superman just snaps and just rips his, um, his hand right through his chest and just kills the crap. Of course, it doesn't show up because it's a team game. You know, because I want kids to play this game too. But it, in the comic, which um, it, which you can find online, it's it's pretty graphic to say the least. It's not pretty. Superman kills the crap out of him. But thus, unfortunately, Joker, what he did, uh, was was far worse than anyone could ever imagine. I mean, not only he did he, he uh, destroyed uh, Metropolis and killed Lois, but he created a monster in Superman. Now Superman's gone. You know, like, became like an evil dictator and like. And controlling everything, man. It's like it's it's so crazy. You see, you just see how he's just evil and just like you just tell you just evil and just a man that's just fright and just so spiteful and just want to like control everything. So that way, you know. But he's just you know, I guess he's, in his mind, he's thinking he's doing he's thinking he's doing the right thing. But he's just he's just being like another dictator and stuff. And it's gotten so bad that a Batman of that universe uh decided to, to, uh, to did like a special machine to call over the heroes from. The, from Earth One, that's not having affected yet, because um, because what happened was and uh, in the in the original um in the first Earth, I know it's kind of confusing what I have what Joker hasn't done that yet. Um, the, the only difference is instead of like doing it uh to having having like heart you know the lowest is heart connected to the atom bomb, Joker just has the 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 switch on him you know nearby ready to go, and they're trying to, and then they're trying to stop him and then, like. Right as he's trying to press the switch to blow it up, um, Batman uses this like this machine to teleport all the heroes to his uni to his universe to help stop the Superman in his universe. I know it's a lot of like, oh my god, it's like I know it's a lot to wrap around with the multi, <laughs> the multi theory, the multi uh, universe theory kind of thing. I know it's kind of crazy to wrap around, but that's basically what's going on. I know it's kind of 
That's, that's basically what's going on, pretty much. What's going on with the story. And it's just basically just them trying to team up um, to stop the evil Superman and his goons. And it's sad to say, even like uh, some of the heroes that were, you know, good guys even joined Superman's side. You know, even Flash, Shazam, one of them are helping Superman with his dictatorship, to kind of, you know, reign and stuff. So that the, 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 the heroes from the from the first have to stop the heroes of this current Earth as well. So it's so crazy seeing you know, all these heroes that you grew with now just working on the side of evil. I mean, some you know out of loyalty, but some out of fear. Superman in this universe does not play around. He even show, he even like does you know does um, but to set his example to show you series, he uh, does something bad to one of the characters. I won't say who though, but um, yeah, one of the characters doesn't make it in the. Uh, in, in this, in this, in, in in the story, but um, also the, uh, 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 you need to think about the story. I like about uh, the one thing I like about the story mode for sure. I like the, how it transitions to the fight, how they talk to each other, and it transitions right to a fight. It's so beautifully done, even how it, how it, even how it ends, how it and transitions out of the fight. So beautifully well done. It's like it's so seamless. And it, it seems like they, they, they borrowed that from Mortal Kombat Nine, and they just like been using it ever since. It it it, it just blends into like. To the fights, it blends in so well. It's so you know, it blends in so well. It's it's so nice and done. I appreciate that. Also, what I like, um, also there's another thing that's pretty cool is a quick time event thing that happens, but it only happens like three times, um, in in the game. I think one with Batman, Green Arrow, and then Superman, as you see here from the footage, him just blasting cars. But the cool thing about it though, um, yeah, I know, but even <laughs> but kind of mention real quick before I go on. I mean, it, it kind of lasts for a while though. It's kind of awkward. At least with the first two, it's a good, it's a good length. But here, it just seems like uh, Black Adam just keeps chucking cars at Superman. It's chucking and chucking and chucking. You think after a while, you're like, okay, let me try something else because this is obviously not working. But he just keeps chucking him like a moron. Like, jeez, he feels like it feels like he's been doing it. For, he's been doing it for like 10 million years or some crap. But the good thing about it, if you like do it perfectly without getting hit and then imagine hit him every time, and you start to fight someone, his health is gone. So it kind of you know, lean, so it, it's kind of like it, it gives you the advantage when the fight starts. So it's really cool. So I like little things like that. So it's it's such a well written story overall. It's so like I said, it's so good. It, it's got a comic you can buy um, from from the DC website or or your local comic store. And you know the fighting is really good. It's well balanced and it's so much fun. And you know and the story is really you know it's really great. Um, and you know the online's fifty fifty. Though are they improved it though? But it's fifty fifty, depending. And um, but overall, it's it's a great experience. You get all the costumes, you know, everything that came out to the game. You get everything, all the DLC characters, all the costumes. Also, uh, I I like the nice touch that they put uh, the uh, just Steve Emile's uh, Green Arrow costume in the in the game in the game as well. I think that's a nice touch. Also, the fact that you got his voice too. Well, that's what I call an entrance. Why? In the game as well, so not only the costume but his voice in the game as well. So I did like that. But sadly, there's no like Flash costume or Flash costume because that came up. This came because this uh, the game came up before the first season of Flash did. But hopefully, you know, in the um, in Justice Two, they put you know they give, you know give the chance to you know, oh they bring, hopefully they bring back the Green Arrow costume. But also they put you know Flash's costume for the TV show. Same thing with Supergirl since she's also she's been also been confirmed. And also you know characters from Legends of Tomorrow and and whatnot. You know, put some characters in there. I didn't see them, you know, Cap, you know, Captain Adam or, um, in, you know, Black Canary or whatnot in there, and having their TV costumes as well. Here, here's the hoping. But uh, yeah, overall, um, it's a great game. I highly recommend, it. especially now. What, what, 10, 20 bucks at this point? It's totally, totally, totally worth it. I highly recommend it. It's, it's, it's a great. If you, if you love Mortal Kombat games or just like 2D fighting games in general, then this game is perfect for you. I cannot recommend this game enough. It's so good, especially now with what, like I said, twenty bucks, totally worth it. You get all the costumes, all the D, you know, all the all the costumes, all the characters, all the whole shebang of bang, bam, in one package. And I think it's just perfect. It's so perfect, and I just can't wait for um, Injustice Two. I know I keep talking about Injustice Two a lot, uh, but it's just I cannot wait for that game. Is what it's it's, 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 it's it, I just can't wait. It's like NetherRealm did an incredible job. Thank you, WB Games, for hiring them on. They did such an incredible job with the franchise. I hope to do maybe other fighters, and you know, we make a Young Justice kind of thing, um, kind of thing of uh, fighter. Who knows? Maybe, you know, to, to different DC or, or maybe different like properties in general. I didn't see them 
two different fighters to see what else they can like make happen. You know, I'm very interested. But um, but yeah, overall, it did, um, Ed Boon and his team did a fantastic job. I know I keep repeating myself because this game is really, really well done. It, it has such, it has such great fan service too. You know, so if you're a DC fan like myself, you appreciate the little touches and the notches. You know, like I said, even the, you know with the X, the, the, the rock paper systems, rock paper, the rock paper. Rock paper scissors system. I, I, no, I dirt on it. Sorry. Uh, that they put in the game. I like how like you know that if, if they have like you know like Batman or Joker, they'll talk. You know they'll say things that you know that you like quotes that you've heard before or, or that they know each other. It's so cool. You, you get like certain characters together that you know that have ex experience with one another. They'll say certain quips and and stuff to each other. I, I like that too. It's so so cool. And it is it just really, it really earned it, it, it's it's really earned it's it's worth to it's totally worth your money. It's a really really great game. Alright guys, um, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, Awesome, the awesome editing of course is done by my friend Koopa, thank you Koopa for all the editing, all the stuff you do, thank you once again. Alright guys, hope you I hope you enjoyed the video, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and as always this is Rocket Blade signing out, hopefully see you guys again real soon man, and of course, peace out, and have a happy holidays.